Awesome. All right. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm coming at you live from my home in Miami. So it's actually 8.30 p.m. for me here. Um, don't typically work out this late, but I'm excited. And I'm going to shower and probably go to bed. Yay. Okay. So uh, if you are joining live, I chatted you the playlist. Um, if you are joining us later, feel free to find me on Spotify. It's my full name and we're using the newest one. It's called Cardioscope X 49. You can't really see it, but 49 will be the playlist for today. Um, as always, have a mat, have some water, whatever else you need. If you have dumbbells and bands, awesome, grab them. Um, and today we're going to play with some fun new moves that kind of change the sequence a little bit for our first core round. So we will have some fun. All right, lie down on your back, whatever kind of position feels comfortable. Arms can be by your sides. Maybe you reach arms up overhead. Just give yourself a nice big stretch. Whatever lets you just kind of let go of your day. Take a moment to acknowledge that you carved out the time to show up. For my friends who are here live, you, you know, made that commitment. And that's awesome. Half the work is done. And now we have 45 minutes to move, to breathe, and to get a little bit stronger. All right, let's take three rounds of breath all together. Inhale through your nose, fill all the way up. Open your mouth, exhale, side out, let it go. Two more, inhale, fill up. And exhale, let it go. Good. With your next inhale, start to reach arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch from fingers to toes. Get long. Take up a ton of space. Really stretch it out. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest. If you want to take any movements here, feel free. You might rock side to side. I always love big knee circles to get into those hip flexors, especially after a long day of sitting at a desk. Cool. We're gonna get started with our warm up round of glute bridges. If you wanna use a band, by all means, feel free, wrap it around your thighs. Please protect your knees, so bring them up about an inch or so, so they're snug on the thighs, not the joints. This is always optional. And let's come onto our backs, plant your feet down, hips width apart, all 10 toes face forward but then walk your feet back towards you so ankles trap underneath your knees, yeah? If you wanna use music, now would be a good time to kind of have that handy. All right, bring your arms by your side, soften those shoulders, exhale, press into both feet, lift your hips high, squeeze your glutes, pause here, draw the belly in, neutral spine, yeah? Inhale, lower those hips down to hover. Take that one more time slow, exhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, belly engaged, not a back bend. Exhale, lower your hips down to hover. Excuse me, inhale, lower your hips down to hover. All right, that's the motion we're gonna take. If you want music, grab it now. First song, press play in three, two, one, play. All right, let's do this. Arms by your sides, press into your feet. Hips up, hips down, hips up, down, up. Down, keep going, lift, lower, up, down, squeeze, hover, lift, lower. Keep going just like that. Belly engaged the entire time, waking up the legs, the booty. Hips high, let's pulse in three, two, one. Hips are high, pulse. Up one inch, down one inch, up one inch. And down one inch, little tiny pulses, little squeezes. So you should feel that heat warming up those legs. Again, keep your hips high. We're gonna take calf raises. You might wanna walk your feet a little bit closer in. In three, two, one. Hips high, little step. Let's go, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down, up, down, up, down. So hips stay lifted the entire time, and we're just lifting and lowering heels. Come onto the balls of your feet, send top the feet forward, squeeze those calves. Heels high, hips high, pulse. Three, 
two, one, heels high, hold those hips, up and down, up and down. All right, little combo, you guys. One round of calf raises, and then we're gonna lower and lift our hips. So calf raise, hip lift with our heels lifted. Three, two, one, hips high, heels down, heels up, hips down, hips up, heels down, up, hips up, heels, hips, heels, hips, heels, hips, heels, hips. One more. Heels high, pulse those hips. Up and down. Little pulses. Hopefully those calves are burning. Keep squeezing. Woo! Lower your heels in three, two, one. Hips high, drop those heels down. Heels toe your feet wide. Heels in, toes out. Knees open up wide to the track over your feet. Hips down, hips up. Hips down, hips up. Hips down. Hips up, hips down, hips up, hips high, knees close in and out in three, two, one, hips are high, knees close in, knees open up, knees in, knees out, knees in, knees out, inner thighs, hold your knees together, outer glutes bend, your knees out wide, keep going. Pull those knees out wide, then you're done. In three, two, one. Hips high, knees out. One inch, in one inch, out one inch. Keep squeezing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're done, come all the way down. Woo! Beautiful work. Warm up is done. Feel free to give your outer glutes a little tap out. Amazing work. Okay, so we're gonna get into the core. I mentioned at the beginning of class, I kind of spice it up a little bit here. Typically, we take two moves back and forth, four rounds. Today, we're gonna take four moves and we're gonna do two rounds. So we're gonna do two rounds of a the move, then move on to the next one for four individual moves. If you have a dumbbell that you wanna use, feel free to grab it. We're gonna take a straight leg crunch. So if you don't have a dumbbell or don't wanna use it, hands behind your head, totally fine. If you did want to use a dumbbell, you can hold one, number side in both hands. Leg straight up to the ceiling, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, exhale crunch, inhale lower. Okay, stretch on legs, point or flex your feet. 20 seconds here, let's go. Three, two, and one. Exhale up, inhale down. Put your shoulder blades off of your mat. Squeeze the belly to crunch up. Take a little tiny pull to the top. In three, two, one. 10 seconds, stay lifted. Little pulses, little squeezes, reach a little bit higher. Back to full range in three, two, one. Inhale down, exhale crunch. Same move that we started with, round two. And again, your hands can always be behind your head. Little pulses, round two in three, two, and one. Reach a little higher, really squeeze here, you guys. All right, we're gonna ditch this dumbbell for leg raises in three, two, and one. Dumbbell down by your side. Arms can be by your side or under your hips for more support. Lower your legs down to hover. Lift them right back up. I want your low back to stay grounded on your mat the entire time. Takes a lot of lower belly strength. Flutter kicks in three, two, and one, I like to point my toes here, hover your legs, little kick up and down. Back to leg raises, round two, three, two, and one, drop your head, legs up, lower them down. I like to exhale as I lift, inhale as I lower, but you find what feels good to you. Low back, rooted on your mat. All right, flutter kicks, you guys, in three, two, and one, hover your legs, 
Little kicks, strong legs. All right, obliques time, bicycles in three, two, and one, hands behind your head, twist it right, twist it left. Elbow to opposite knee. Think about leading with your shoulders. So you peel shoulder blades off of your mat. You're using your obliques. Pulse to the right in three, two, one. Bend your right knee, extend your left leg. Reach your left arm up and over. Bicycles round two in three, two, and one. Let's go. These don't have to be fast. You move at your pace. Find the twist. Keep it in your obliques, not your neck. Last ten. All right, close it to the left this time in three, two, one. Bend your left knee, right leg is straight. Reach your right arm full. Last move, nice and simple, basic crunch in three, two, one. Set your feet down, hands behind your head. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Woo, really squeeze those upper abs. Get shoulder width off of your mat. Straighten your arms, tap your heels. You have heel taps in three, two, one. Shoulders up, reach your fingertips forward, and then tap your fingers to the back of your heels. A little shimmy side to side. One more time, then you're done. Basic crunch, three, two, and one. Let's go, you guys, you have 30 seconds. I gave you a nice, simple move to end with, so keep it strong. Last 10. Heel taps, let's go. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Shoulder blades up. Squeeze the sides of your bodies as you should need. Three, two, one. Ah, you're done. You can reach your arms up overhead, give your belly a nice big stretch. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. Full disclosure. That is the first time I've taught and done a full corset, burning. So hopefully you feel good. All right, grab water, towel off, whatever you gotta do. We're gonna pick things up, get into our first cardio and strength push. So we're gonna start standing today. So you can come up to a seat. If you have dumbbells, go ahead, grab them. We're going to start with a deadlift to a narrow row. So kind of stretching out the legs, getting into the back. So feet about hips width apart, toes face forward. Sink your weight into your heels. Send your hips back. And then narrow row, palms face in, elbows up, squeeze between your shoulders. Straighten your arms, stand back up. Deadlift, narrow row, arms down, lift it up. Okay? I'm going to throw some new moves at you today. So let's start here. All right, 20 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. So again, take your weight into your heels, a little bend in your knees, send your hips back, then you stand tall. Deadlift, squeeze between your shoulder blades as elbows lift up to the ceiling for your row. Keep the belly engaged, we just warmed it up. Let's take one more. All right, hammer curl the shoulders, press in three, two, one, palms face in, bicep curl, send your arms up overhead, shoulder press, bend your elbows, straighten your arms, hammer curl, shoulder press, bend, straighten, biceps, shoulders, biceps, down. Good, you have three, Two, one. You can ditch the dumbbells or keep them. Right foot steps back into a lunge. Drive the right knee up. Three, two, one. Right foot back, lunge. Right knee up. Right foot back, lunge. Right knee up. So your left, your left foot stays planted the entire time. Find a point of focus in front of you to help keep your balance. Feet together, chair hold. Three, two, one. One, feet together, ditch those weights if you have them. 
Little combo. Feet will come in and out. Then you have a jump squat in three, two, and one. So feet out, jump squat down. In, out, jump squat. In, out, jump squat. In, out, jump squat. Hips down the entire time as your feet come in and out. And big explosive jump squat. Woo. Three, two, and one. That's your sequence. Check it out. Rough, excuse me. Deadlift to narrow row. Three, two, one. Hips back. Narrow row. Train your arms. Slide back up. Deadlift. Narrow row. Arms down. Stand up. Whew. Good. Let's take that for three, two, and one. Stand up. Bicep to shoulder press. Three, two, one. So palms in. So it's technically a hammer curl, yeah? Biceps. Send your arms up overhead. Bend. Straighten. Notice if you're like dumping into the low back. Strong core, strong legs. So only your upper body is moving. Whew. All right, stay with that for three, two, and one. Option to keep the dumbbells or ditch them now. Left foot moves, lunge back, knee up. Three, two, one. Left foot back, lunge. Left knee drives up to the ceiling. Back into a lunge, drive it up. As you lunge, try to make 90 degree angles with your legs, hips and shoulders, face forward. Feet together in three, two, one. Just settle that down. You can ditch those weights. Feet in, out, then your jump squat. Three, two, one. Let's go. So this is kind of that move to get your heart rate up. You did a lot of strength. Now this is your cardio, your plyometrics. Keep those hips low as feet come in and out. And big explosive power with the legs as you add that jump squat. You can always come onto tippy toes or ditch the jump if you're not feeling it. Three, two, one. There you go. Halfway there, two rounds down, two to go. I'm gonna finish with you because this song is hyping me up. Deadlift, narrow row. Three, two, one. Deadlift, row. I really want you to squeeze between your shoulder blades. We're getting into our back here. Good. Three, two, and one. Stand up. Biceps to shoulder press. Three, two, one. Don't forget to breathe. Lower body is stable and strong. You're squeezing your biceps, squeezing your shoulders. You have this for three, two, and one. Ditch the dumbbells or keep them. Right leg moves again. Lunge, knee up. Three, two, and one. Lunge back, knee up. A bit of a balance challenge here, you guys. So keep that focus. Keep that control. Feet together in three, two, and one. Ditch those dumbbells. All right, in, out, jump squat. Three, two, one. And of course, you can always take a squat or come onto your tippy toes. Still work those calves. If jumping isn't feeling good to you, if you got it in you, try it out. Feel that burn in the legs. Three, two, let's all do one more. One. We have one more round. Let's do this. Deadlift to row. In three, two, one. You gotta imagine you're kind of sitting back into a chair. Your booty goes back. Getting into those hamstrings. Three, two, 
One, stand tall, biceps to shoulders. Three, two, one. I highly recommend, if you haven't seen it yet, watch the new Beyonce visual album. You'll inspire this playlist. Three, two, so I'll do one more. And one, good. Ditch the dumbbells or keep them. Left foot moves, three, two, and one. Left foot back lunge, left knee up. That right foot stays rooted. Drive through your right foot as you lift that left knee up. Find your chair, three, two, and one, chair, ditch those dumbbells, final move we go, in three, two, one. Feet in, out, jump squat, in, out, jump squat. Hips down when you come in and out. Woo. You're so close, you guys, you have three. It's all in strong, two, one more. You're done. So if you just stand up, kind of walk around, shake out those legs. Feel free to grab some water. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Give me a moment here to catch your breath. We're gonna come into our Tabata round of core and some upper body. So again, kind of spicing things up a little bit today. We're gonna start with chest flies. We're gonna come onto our backs. I'm gonna take this with my hips lifted in the bridge just so I have a bigger range of motion. So these are different than a bench press. We want our uh, palms to be facing up towards the ceiling when we're on our backs, okay? Then we're gonna reach our arms up overhead, palms face in, directly over our chest, then we're gonna lower it down. You might see people at the gym who hold onto the cables and go like that, essentially doing that, but on our backs. If you don't have dumbbells, take push-ups here, okay? All right, so we're gonna start here. If you have dumbbells, grab them. And then like I mentioned, you can just come onto your mat. I'm gonna bring my feet a little bit wider, lift my hips, and take them like this so my arms have a bigger range of motion. Up to you. 20 seconds, round one, three, two, and one. Timer is on, let's go. So again, you open out your arms, keep a little bend in those elbows, and then really squeeze your chest to bring your arms directly up towards the ceiling. Palms face in. You have three, two, and one. Good. Rock up. You can keep a dumbbell if you want. Russian twist. Three, two, and one. It can be down or up. Exhale right, exhale left. Dumbbell or no dumbbell, totally up to you. Three, two, one, great. 10 seconds to make your way onto your back once again. For those chest flies. Three, two, one, so good. Open your arms out. Reach them right back up. Arms open, then lift them up towards the ceiling, palm face in. Little bend so we're not like eh, hyper extending. Woo. Working on that chest. Three, two, one, great. Okay, we're gonna come up. This time we're taking high to low boat. You can reach hands forward or bring hands behind you for support. Three, two, and once you either reach your arms forward or hands come behind you, fingers face forward, 
for support. Inhale, extend, exhale, high boat. You have three, two, and one. Great. You're halfway there. Four rounds down, four to go. Back into those chest lines. In three, two, and one. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you open. If you're lifting your hips, keep that strong bridge stance that we worked on in our warm up. You have three, two, and one. Back to Russian twist. In three, two, one. These don't have to be fast. Again, control the movements. Be mindful of your spine. Leave those obliques. Three, two, one. All right. Last round, chest wise and high to low boat, and we're done. Let's go, you guys got it. Three, two, one, on your back. Don't forget to breathe. Stay with it. Three, two, one. Ditch the dumbbells. I the low boat, then you are done. Let's go. Three, two, and one. You choose arms forward or hands behind you. You got it. Three, two, one. Done. Woo! Good. Take a seat here, give your shoulders some love. If you feel good, you can reach your arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, just bend your elbows open through your heart. Take that one more time, inhale, arms up. And then exhale, bend. Woo! Good work, you guys. Okay. Legs and booty. If you wanna grab that band again, feel free. Wrap it around your thighs. Okay, tabletop for all fours. You can take these on your palm. I'm gonna drop down to my forearms. Three moves on the right side. Let me switch to the left. All right, so again, palms, shoulders over wrists, or forearms. Keep your left knee down, straighten your right leg. Imagine there's a wall behind you. Kick it down, yeah? Flex your foot so right toes face your mat. Straight leg, full range. So exhale, you lift. Inhale, you lower. You can do this with or without a band, yeah? Let's go. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. So keep your hips in one line. Your wings evenly distributed. Let's pulse out that leg in three, two, one. Keep that leg lifted, pulse. Up, down, up, down. Hamstring curl, three, two, one. Leg is lifted, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze that hamstring as you bend. Kick down that wall as you straighten. Bend your knee and pulse. Three, two, one. Bend your knee and pulse. Stay at the bottom of your right foot up to the ceiling. Donkey kick. Three, two, one. Inhale, knee comes down. Exhale, foot kicks up. Keep that bend in your knee. Keep squeezing that right glute. 10 more seconds, stay with it. You have three, two, and one. Both knees down. 10 seconds to shake that off as we move to the left side. Same exact sequence. Straight leg, 
three, two, one, let go, up, down, exhale, inhale, hips in one line, notice if you're collapsing into your shoulders, press away from your mat, lift up, pull, three, two, one, leg lifted, pull, hug the belly in, low back is neutral, hamstring curl, three, two, one, bend, straighten, exhale, inhale, squeeze, kick. Bend and pull. Three, two, one. Bend that knee, pulse it out. Donkey kicks. Three, two, one. We are done after this, you guys. Keep it up. Again, press away from your mat. Leave the core. Don't over arch your low back. Squeeze the left booty. Three, two, and one. Take a child pose, kind of rock side to side. And I'm sweating. All right, ditch that band if you use it. Toss it to the side. Quick plank series. One last cardio strength push. And then you're done. Come on to your right forearm, bring your left hand behind your head. You're taking elbow to hand today. So inhale, we open up our chest. Exhale, we twist, left elbow. We'll tap down to your right hand, okay? Right forearm down, right palm down, right shoulder over right elbow. You can take these on your feet or drop down to your knees for support. 30 seconds, let's go. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Keep those hips high. Last 10, keep going. Face your mat, forearm plank. In three, two, one. Left forearm down. Face your mat. Forearm plank. You can interlace your hands, shoulders over elbows. Reach chronic head forward and then send your heels back. Squeeze your quads, your glutes, belly button towards your spine. 10 more seconds. You got this. So we're going to take a funky variation for our back work. We're going to lower up to our belly, bring your hands behind your head for a back extension. Three, two, one, come down, untuck your toes. Hands behind your head. Exhale, lift your chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. This is our back work, you guys. Keep going. Last 10. Left side, elbow to hand in three, two, and one, 30 more seconds, then you're done. Same thing, left side. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist, right elbow, left hand. Woo. Keep lifting out of that left shoulder, press away from your mat, lift your hips. 10 more seconds, you guys stay with it. Woo. Three, two, and one, come down. <sighs> All right, you guys, take about 20 seconds here, some shoulder rolls, some nice, big, luxurious head rolls. Grab water, towel off, whatever you need to take care of yourself. Before we end with eight minutes of giving it our all, kicking ass, and then we're done. We stretch, we cool down. Okay, two kind of funky things I'm gonna tell you. Our second move, we're gonna take a ski squat to a curtsy lunge. Ski squat, feet about hips width, give or take. Nice regular squat, hips down and back. Curtsy lunge, cross one 
leg behind the other, bend. I want this front knee to track over the front foot, back knee as close to your mat as possible. We squat, and then we switch sides into our curtsy lunge. Last move, spoiler alert, we're doing mountain climbers. But we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Two regular mountain climbers, and then two cross-legged. So to go knee to chest, knee to chest, and then knee to opposite elbow two times. Chest, chest, knee, knee. It'll all make sense as we get going. Okay? Have your dumbbell handy. Level changers, alternate side. Right forearm, left forearm, right palm, left palm. Switch, left, right, left, right. Take this on a plank or drop down to your knees for support. Let's go. 20 seconds in three, two, one. Level changers, forearm, forearm, palm, palm, then switch the leading side. Take this at your pace. Try to keep your hips as still as possible so they're not swaying side to side. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch that out. Take a big breath. Walk all the way up, roll up. That squat the curtsy lunge. Let's go. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna take this without dumbbells, but you can hold dumbbells here if you want to level up. So regular squat, cross one foot behind the other into a curtsy lunge. And we have three, two, and one. Stand up. If you have dumbbells, grab them. If not, take tricep push-ups. Right foot back, come into a lunge. Tricep kick back. Three, two, one. Elbows up. Straighten your arms. Bend your elbows. Bend your left knee. Hover torso over your left leg. Please squeeze those triceps, you guys. Woo. Straighten your arms and just pulse. In three, two, and one. Straighten your arms. Just a doozy. We'll pulse this up and down. Mountain climbers. Let's go. Three, two, one. Ditch the dumbbells. High plank. Regular to cross-legged. Knee, knee, elbow, elbow. Knee, knee, elbow, elbow. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch that out. All right, you guys. That's your sequence. Round one, done. Three to go, level changers. Three, two, one, let's go. Forearm, forearm, palm, palm, switch. The side that leads every time. Even if you slow down and do like two good ones, I'm super happy, keep going. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch that out. Let it feel good. Lengthen your spine. Walk up, roll up. Squat to curtsy lunge. In three, two, and one. Take out the big back bend. Weight in your heel. Find your squat. And then cross your foot curtsy. Come back to your regular squat. Switch sides. Curtsy. Good. You guys have three, two, and one. Come up. If you're taking extensions, grab those dumbbells. Left foot back. We go in three, two, and one. So first, elbows as high as you can get them. Keep them lifted. You just straighten and bend. A lot easier said than done when you're not holding weights. When you add the weight, it should feel like a lot of work. And if you don't have dumbbells, tricep push-ups, hug the elbows in, or you can take tricep dips. Good. Mountain climb, oh, excuse me, pulse your arms in three, two, one. Keep those arms straight, little pulses, keep squeezing. I know it for mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Ditch those dumbbells, high plank. Knee, excuse me, chest, chest, opposite knee, opposite knee. Two regular, two cross-legged. <sighs> Stumbling over my words. You're so close. Downward dog, three, two, one, stretch. All right, I'm gonna end with you. You have two rounds, four minutes of work. Level changers, let's go. Three, two, one. 
Also, you have to side that lead. Call yourself that you can. We end strong. We end together. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch it out once again. Walk up, roll up. Walk to curtsy lunge. Three, two, one. Let's go. Walk, curtsy, squat, curtsy. Three, two, one. Stand up. Kickbacks or other tricep move of choice. So you're taking kickbacks, right foot back, find that lunge, and we're working out the legs as well. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbows up. So you squeeze those triceps, you guys. Exhale as you straighten. Pulse it out in three, two, one. Keep those arms straight, pulse. Woo! Mountain climbers, three, two, one. Oh my God, those are so brutal. Two regular, two cross. Regular, cross. Try to pick up that pace. Last 10. Shoulders over wrists, hips in line with shoulders. Downward dog, three, two, one. All right, you guys, take the biggest breath yet. Open your mouth, let it go. Two minutes, one round. Then you're done. Level changers. In three, two, one. You got it. Halfway there. Downward dog. Three, two, one. Stretch. Enjoy. Walk up, roll up. Squat to curtsy. Three, two, one. Woo. Lay that back knee down. Make sure that front knee is tracking over your front foot. You have three, two, and one. Check that out. Tricep of choice. Step your left foot back if you're taking extensions. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep those elbows lifted. Keep them pinned in one place. So we're not swinging the arms. Keep the elbows exactly as they are. Straighten and bend. Straighten those arms and pulse. Three, two, one. Up and down. Keep squeezing. You got it. Mountain climbers. Three, two, one. You are done after this. 20 seconds. Let's go. All out. Regular cross. 10 more seconds. Pick it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. You can stay in your child's pose for as long as you need. Whenever you feel ready to move, grab some water. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you have a few moments to spare, and you want to stretch it out with me, if you're using the playlist, you're going to want to skip forward a few songs. So you end on Gentle Breeze. It's my chill cool down song. Oh my gosh. I encourage you to take a few minutes for yourself to wind down. I would say that this is the most I've done of a class while teaching it. And I am white. This class is not easy. It's simple, but it's hard. So slow down your breath, big inhales, long exhales. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Let's come onto our backs. And take a nice easy figure four outer hip stretch. Cross your right ankle over left thigh. Flex your right foot. Your left foot can just kind of be flossy. <sighs> then find this outer right hip stretch. If you want more, you can guide your left knee closer to your chest as you send this right knee forward away from your body. Maybe you close your eyes, relax those shoulders. And take five slow, deep rounds of breath. Let that last breath go. Gently set your left foot down. Right leg high to the ceiling. Grab or whatever feels accessible. And give that hamstring a stretch. I always like to take a nice big angle circle here so you can take that if it feels good. Release, switch sides, figure four, left ankle over right thigh, flex to flex foot. And then find that level of intensity that you need. Five good rounds of breath. Savor the stillness, savor the stretch. Let that go. Left leg up, find that hamstring stretch, stay still or add your ankle circle, whatever you need. Good, let that go. Let's take a twist, scoot your hips to the right, let your knees fall to the left. You might straighten your right arm, you might bend it, you find what feels good. As you inhale, invite some length into your spine. And then as you exhale, let it all go. Just sink into the support of your mat. And so we'll rinse out for the body. Take one more breath. And switch sides, keep your hips to the left. Knees fall to the right. One more breath. Bring that back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. And let's come all the way up. Find a seat. That was a lot of upper body. So take a tricep stretch, right elbow up. You might grab for it with your left hand. Or just give yourself a pat on the upper back with your right palm. Release, reach your right arm across your body, gaze over your right shoulder. And switch sides, left elbow up, stretch that left tricep. And release, left arm across your body, gaze over your left shoulder. Let go. Inhale, reach both arms up overhead. And just like we did earlier, take an exhale, bend your elbows, open up your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up once again, press your palms together. And exhale, gather some good vibes down to your heart. Thank you all so, so much. Have an awesome night. Namaste. Good work, everyone. Thank you for joining live. Um, these classes are all by donation, so feel free to call your friends, your family. Um, if you don't have the funds, never keep that from joining. Never let that keep you from joining us. Um, if you do, it's all via Venmo. And if you liked class, want to do it again, I'm going to upload it to the weekly class recording folder. Feel free to come back to it as much 
as you want. Enjoy, keep taking care of yourselves, keep moving, it's so important. Miss you all. Thank you, Veronica, Emily, Sonia, Elena, I miss you. Thank you, thank you guys. Have a good night.